Judge Day has completed his placings on this class of three year old, junior three-year-old cows. We could recognize our junior winners first. Second place junior, Meadowbrook Surge Weston ET, exhibited by Mitchell Kappelman of Two Rivers, Wisconsin. And your first place junior award winner is I.E. Kurtz Dynasty Top Notch, exhibited by Seth Nails of Houston's Bird, Wisconsin. And your production winner goes to Siegert's Bonanza Madonna. At two years, three months of age, she at a 305 day record had 21,389 pounds of milk, a 4.6 fat, 992 pounds, 3.4% protein, and 720 pounds of protein. She is exhibited by Cade Blessing of Blessing Farms, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Third place honors in the class go to Jody Denmark Nookie ET, exhibited by Woodwind Farm LLC of Independence, Wisconsin. Second place is Garbro Blessing Agenda Reba, exhibited by Richmond Farms of Lodi, Ohio. And your winning entry, best bred and owned and best daughter of the class, is Old Mill Starsky Love ET, exhibited by Amanda R. Basler of Upperville, Virginia. Congratulations. Judge Day, your reasons on this class. Beautiful class of junior three-year-olds and our fraternity Cal is back. She still has that same tremendously high wide rudder with beautiful veination all over it. That's where she beats the Cal we have in second because her rear rudder is higher, wider, and fuller. At the top, she has a little more overall capacity of udder, probably a little more correct about her tail setting than the second place cow, and the first cow just has that pinpoint clean sharpness, dariness, and angularity. I think the cow in second fits in there very nicely. She's cut out of the same mold as the first cow. She's sharper, cleaner up through that head and neck, cleaner down through her thighs. Uh, not quite the capacity of udder or the height and width of rear udder, but I think she's just a very youthful looking cow to fit in second place. Cow in third, again, tremendous width all the way through. Not that pinpoint cleanness you have in the two cows above her, but she has the size, the scale, the overall balance. She's wider on the chest floor than is our cow here in fourth. Fourth over fifth, the fourth cow, certainly a deeper crease upper rear udder as it's viewed here today. A cow that just has a little more overall stretch and stature and length from uh, head to tail. Taking nothing away to, from one of the best side view cows we have in the class, she has a little more overall balance. She's deeper in the fore and rear rib than the light colored cow that's right below her. The next two cows, very dairy and clean, just not quite uh, as uh, deep in the rib as we have at the cows above them. Beautiful class.